Hi everyone, this is Ryan again, and I'm going to be creating a short series to show how to use JMP or Jump to perform some text analysis. And in this case, we're using a data set that is a survey that was put out in Toronto about uh, having a downtown casino with uh, people's responses and some of their extra comments about their feelings towards the casino. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a distribution to see how uh, their responses were from strongly opposed to strongly in favor to kind of see in general how people were feeling. So there's two ways to do this. First, you can click on the distribution button right here, or you can go to analyze and select distribution. Either way, it does the same thing. So what we're gonna do first is expand the questions which are our columns here. And in this case, we're looking at question 1A to see the people's general feelings. So you can do just, you just drag it over to the Y columns box. Hit OK. And this just kind of gives us a general idea of how people are feeling. And it looks like there's a pretty big bias towards being strongly opposed. And so that just kind of gives us a brief overview of the responses, but we're going to get a little bit more in depth. And for this, we're going to be using the question 1B1 column, which was a short answer kind of uh, question where they could put some more of their thoughts without just having to select a set set of answers. So in this case, we're going to be use we're going to be doing a little bit of data cleaning to start. And to start, we're going to be using the text explorer. And just like before, we're going to expand our columns. And you can either drag or double click the columns into the to select them. So I'll start by, I'll just expand this a little bit here. We can see that there's the number of terms, which is how many different uh, terms were used here, how many different words, the number of cases, which is the number of responses. And then it also, we can see the portion of non-empty cases. You can see that most people answered something here, even though, but it, you know, it wasn't required. And then it also has two columns. It has the count for our different terms. And the Text Explorer can also identify phrases and put them together. And also we can see the count there. So the first thing we're going to do is a little bit of data cleaning. And the first thing is we're going to come up here to this this red arrow and we're going to go over to term options and we're going to select stemming which uh, combine and we're going to stem all terms and th what this will do is it will combine terms such as city cities uh, cities with an apostrophe or other common misspellings together to give us a better idea of all the words that or all the different terms that were used. And you can see now the number of terms has gone down to about 4,200. And in this next portion, we're going to clean up some things um, with some of the different terms. So just like combining common words with stemming, we can also recode some words. For example, city right here and all of its different variations or Toronto. In general, well, they're talking about the same thing. They're talking about the city of Toronto. So it makes sense to combine them to give us a more focused look here. So what you do is you just highlight the words that you would like to combine. You go down, you right click, and you go to read code, to recode. And then what we'll do is we'll select all the words that we would like. So which is all the values for Toronto variations and city variations and we'll select group. And here we can create a, we can give it a new value. So in this case, we can call it city of Toronto. And then once you're finished with that, you can select recode. And now you can see that it, city in combination of city and Toronto is very popular, but you might notice that city of Toronto is a phrase, but we want to be, make sure we can use it as a, we're, we're trying to use it as a single term here. So if you right click on City of Toronto in the phrase column, you can go down and select add phrase. And for the purposes of, anal of analysis now, it will be seen, it will be used as a term. 
So now that we've done that, the next step is stop words. So in this case, Toronto, or uh, the, the questions are about a casino. So we know that word is going to be used a lot because they're responding to their feelings about having a new casino. So that might not give us the best information. So again, if you right click on the term that you'd like to mark as a stop word, and you just go down to add stop word, and now you can see it's removed it from the term list. And we just have the, the, the rest of the words. And these are just some short examples. Um, if we're going through more in depth, we can, we could combine more words, we could recode more words, we could identify more stop words. But that's what we'll stop for now, just because this is a demonstration just how to do it. And let's say, for example, that we didn't want to combine, or we didn't want to use casino as a stop word, or we didn't want to group city of Toronto or in cities in Toronto into one thing. All we have to do is click again on that red, the red arrow, go to term options. And here we can manage our stop words. And if you just highlight them and click the X, they'll be added back in to the term or phrase list for analysis. We can also do this with our recode here. And we can remove it. And now everything should be set back to the way it was. But we do still have stemming on and that we're going to leave that on for now. But again, you could turn that off if you if you needed to. And that's going to end the first video that just talks about creating the distribution and some preliminary data cleaning. In the next video, we'll be doing some more data exploration with the Text Explorer.